Hello, my beautiful children. Sandy Snacks and Colors. How are we today? Well, as you all know, my name is Ro. You probably see me around the yard or around the center. Well, I hope you're doing good at home. And I'm here to read your story today. Go. So today we'll be reading a book called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. For my sister Krista. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he left, or he felt much better. Ooh. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. <laughs> he built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in a cocoon, pushed his way out and... Ooh, what would happen? He was a beautiful butterfly. Wow, look at that. The end. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the story as much as I did. Maybe you can do some activities at home, or such as the big fat caterpillar, or the butterfly, or maybe you can learn the days of the week. And maybe you can try those different types of food that the caterpillar eats. And I'll see you soon, hopefully. Bye, guys.